down to the assassination attempt on former President Trump at one of his golf courses in Florida. Trump spoke about it overnight after the suspect appeared in court for the first time. Rachel Scott is in West Palm Beach with the latest on the investigation. Good morning, Rachel. George, we are learning new details this morning. Officials say this is where the suspect was camped out for nearly 12 hours in those bushes. Just over those hedges is the golf course. A Secret Service agent just one hole ahead, spotting the barrel of a rifle sticking out. Keep walking! Overnight, new body camera video showing the moment officers arrested the 58-year-old man they say camped out on Donald Trump's golf course for 12 hours, allegedly trying to assassinate him. What's your name, Austin? Ryan. Ryan. Trump was moving across the fairway near the fifth hole. A Secret Service agent yelling out gun, spotting a barrel of a rifle sticking out from the fence. All of a sudden we heard shots being fired in the air, and I guess probably four or five, and it sounded like bullets, but what do I know about that? But Secret Service knew immediately it was bullets, and uh, they grabbed me. The former president recounting it all during an online conversation on the platform X, formerly known as Twitter. I was with an agent and the agent did a fantastic job. Secret Service immediately surrounding Trump and taking him to a safe location. Sources say agents fired four to six rounds. The subject who did not have line of sight to the former president fled the scene. He did not fire or get off any shots at our agent. With reports of gunfire, the former president's close protection detail immediately evacuated the president to a safe location. That suspect, Ryan Ralph, taking off on foot, jumping into a black Nissan SUV. A witness spotting him driving off, taking a picture of the license plate number and alerting police. He was smart. He was just driving with the flow of traffic. Yeah, I think that uh, he may have thought he got away with it. 45 minutes later, police tracked down the suspect traveling northbound on I-95. Driver, take two steps to your right. You can see him exiting the vehicle, taken into custody, appearing in court Monday facing two felony gun charges. Authorities say he had a loaded SKS, a Soviet-style semi-automatic rifle with scope, a digital camera, a backpack, and a bag containing food. This is now the second attempt on the former president's life in just nine weeks, raising serious questions about how an armed man was able to get within 400 yards of Trump under heightened security protocol. The acting director of the Secret Service admitting that his agents did not search the perimeter of the golf course, explaining that the president wasn't even really supposed to go there. Was the golf course searched thoroughly before the former president's arrival? So at this time, I uh, it was an off-the-record movement, meaning it was not on the former president's official schedule. And was there any evidence to suggest that the suspect knew that Donald Trump was going to be on that golf course at that time? Based on what I know now, and it's an active investigation, I don't have any information that, uh, on that. The Secret Service promising the highest levels of protection for the former president. Trump and President Biden speaking by phone. It was very nice today. He called up to make sure I was okay, to make sure that, uh, you know, do I have any suggestions? but Trump blaming his political opponents. Still Democrats, from President Biden to Vice President Kamala Harris, were quick to condemn political violence. Let me just say, there is no, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart, those of you who know me, many of you do, no place in political violence for political violence in America. None, zero, never. FBI officials have been on the scene. Officials have blocked off this road. They say this is the area where the suspect ran out of those bushes, attempted to flee, getting inside of that vehicle. As for former President Donald Trump, well, he is back out on the campaign trail today. He has a town hall in Michigan. He has a rally in New York tomorrow. The former president keeping with that busy campaign schedule. You heard from the acting director of the Secret Service insisting that he has the highest levels of protection.